So, what is up you guys? Now, if you are watching this video, you are one of two people. Uh, obviously, you read the title and you're either wondering, what the hell is Jake talking about? 75 hard, what is this program that uh, he's going over? Or you are the other person that is either in 75 hard or has possibly completed 75 hard and looking to get some, uh, some answers or maybe you're trying to curious what's gonna be happening through this program. And um, I have personally been on the program for about 12 days now. Um, this video video is going to be based around just a 10 day review uh, of kind of what I've experienced over the first 10 days of the program um, from kind of like where I came from behind it, where I found it and what happened from there. So I, uh, I actually did uh, find this program through Andy Frisilla. This is the person who has created the program. Uh, I've personally been listening to Andy for probably three years or so. Um, I am an entrepreneur myself and a business owner, so I always listen to him uh, even before he even started the 75 Hard program. So if you don't know who Andy is, Andy is a uh, small business owner, entrepreneur. Uh, he is probably one of the best small business entrepreneurs out there in the industry today. Uh, he is phenomenal. He has a podcast called the MF CEO Project, which has now been relabeled uh, at Real AF with Andy Priscilla. You can find it on all wherever you find podcasts at. Um, he also, of course, has a book, The 75 Hard Book. Uh, he also writes children books. He is the owner of First Form. Um, he has a bunch of other small businesses. He works with Ed Milet on Arte Syndicate. I mean, the guy just, he does all kinds of stuff. And uh, if you haven't listened to him, I would say before you do anything, before you start the program, watch this video first, <laughs> and then as soon as you're done, go check out Andy's podcast um, under Real AF. He has two different versions of the podcast uh, that will, uh, that actual episode, um, he has the older version, which is a little bit farther back, but I think if you go back within like the last 75 episodes or so, um, he did re-release it and kind of does a little montage over the front of it. So give that a listen, it's a couple hours long, but it's definitely worth it. And it's gonna explain exactly what you're doing in this program. Now. For those of you that aren't gonna do that, um, you just wanna know what 75 Hard is, or if you already know what it is, bear with me one second while I explain what the program is for people who don't know. So 75 Hard is a mental fitness program. Uh, a lot of people confuse it with a physical fitness program, but it is not. It is a mental fitness program that um, is there to test you and make you uh, really push yourself over and be the best version of yourself. Uh, there are quite a few different things that you have to do inside of the program uh, for, you guessed it, 75 days uh, to have it completely finished. Um, there's no deviation from this program. If you mess up on one thing, you have to completely start back over uh, from the beginning and that's what I personally had done and where I'm at right now. Um, but let's jump over it really quick. So first thing in the program, two workouts a day. So you do have to get two 45 minute workouts done each day and one of them has to be outside. Now, I live in Tennessee, so it definitely gets cold, it gets hot. Right now, it is the month of December, and every day when I work out, I get my first one done in the morning, and currently it's about 35 degrees when I go on a run. Uh, it was snowing the other day, and you know what? The whole point of the program is to know that you know conditions are not always gonna be ideal, uh, whether in your workout or in your life. 2020 being a perfect example of that. Uh, you know, we never know what life is gonna throw at us, so you always have to be able to overcome it and push through and do it anyway. So, two workouts, one has to be outside, the other one can be inside or outside if you still want it to be, and there is no specific type of program or specific type of workout that you have to do. Uh, it's completely up to you, even walking is acceptable, and I will even say I have walked one time because I really couldn't handle doing anything else, but, uh, that kind of covers the, uh, the two workouts. The next thing is going to be drinking one gallon of water every day. So one gallon of water, yes, it's definitely a lot of water. Um, this is one little problem that, you know, I didn't think that I would have a problem with, but uh, one full gallon of water a day, I actually personally got a, a little half jug of water and I filled that up twice. So I try and shoot and have one done by noon and have the other one done the rest of the day. Next, you have to uh, read 10 pages of a self-help or business entrepreneur book. Uh, it doesn't really have to be uh, a specific you know, type of book, as long as it is nonfiction and you're reading 10 pages of it. Next, you have to pick a diet and stick to it. Again, Andy gives a lot of freedom on this program and lets you really pick what works well for you. Every, everybody's body is different and everybody reacts to diets differently. Uh, you should know what a diet works well for you. If you don't, 
check them all out. I'm personally on the keto diet, so that's what I'm doing uh, myself. But you pick a diet, there's no deviation from it, you can't get off of it. It's every day, nonstop, always on the diet. That leads us into the next item on the program and that's gonna be no cheat meals and no alcohol. So depending on what type of person you are, cheat meals, alcohol, I'm sure that one of us like one of these at least. So uh, you can't have it at all. Uh, this is probably what I struggle with most out of the program, but uh, yep, it's there. No cheat meals and no alcohol. And the last thing on the program is you're gonna have to take a progress picture every day. So. I want to clarify all of these items. Uh, there is an app that uh, you can download that will track it for you. You can, of course, do it yourself if you'd like to track it that way. I, I did download the app. It's like $5. Um, it's just an easy way for you to, to download it. And then you can also take the photo in there and you're not storing photos, a ton of them in your, in your phone. So that is the program, and yes, it is fairly simple, but it is not simple. It is actually extremely hard. You don't label a program 75 hard if it isn't hard. Now, let's talk about what I've experienced over my first 10 days on the program. Now, we'll start out with the first day. Uh, the first day is definitely the easiest day. Uh, you're excited about the program, you know, you're on everything. I mean, anyone can do anything in one day. Uh, and that's kind of the point of it. So uh, first day, you know, I mean, I didn't really want to deviate from my food diet. I was excited to go run. I was out working out. You know, I'm doing everything to the T, trying to get it done as fast as I can. Uh, totally crush it. I'm like, oh, this is a piece of cake. It's not gonna be a problem at all. Uh, and then the second and third day came along where uh, I did, of course, start running into uh, some time restrictions of actually being able to uh, get my workouts in just because I'm fairly busy with work. So uh, that was probably one of the first problems that I had. Uh, also, what I started realizing was the water uh, was definitely uh, hard. So uh, drinking a gallon of water, I mean, technically it's not hard, but you just go to the bathroom a lot. Like I was constantly going to the bathroom and part of my job is I travel for work. So I'm in a car a lot, I'm driving on the highway and having to pull off and go to the bathroom every 30 minutes is not ideal and it's just not fun. So uh, hopefully you are somewhere where you're close to a bathroom or what I do is now is I, I know that I'm going to go to the bathroom a lot so I will literally drink half of uh, my half gallon all in one, one big jug so I can just get it down. I know I'm gonna have it come out the other side in the next hour or so so then I, I know I don't have to go to the bathroom when I'm on the road. Uh, so that was one problem that I kind of ran into that I didn't really realize I was gonna have uh, in that first couple of days, that first week or so. Now day four, five, and six, I ran into some trouble with the workouts. Um, I told you myself that you know I'd like to run, so I was outside. Of course, you have to do one of your workouts outside, and uh, I was getting hit with snow. It started raining. I don't have proper rain jackets or anything like that, so I am literally out there running in you know 35 degree weather with rain. I'm soaked from head to toe, freezing my ass off, and. I was wondering why the hell am I doing this? <laughs> but it was definitely worth it because like Andy says, you know, you notice like you're out there running in that rain and there was nobody else out running. Like there was nobody. Normally I live in a little community where everyone's out all the time walking their dogs, walking their kids, running, everyone's exercising. There wasn't a single person out. It was just me by myself. I, I think I saw one guy like farther down the street and probably with a, a raincoat on and his dog. But uh, yeah, there was no one really out exercising at the, the time that I was doing it at. Now it wasn't until about day seven where I had a serious problem and a serious argument with myself of breaking uh, the 75 hard. So I had to go to work and um, what I do is for my work, I, we do photo booth rentals as kind of our side business. Uh, I, I'm in sales personally, but on the weekends, this was a Saturday, I had to go um, pick up a photo booth and it was at a ice cream creamery store here in Nashville. And you know, it was, it was extremely hard to walk through here and stare at uh, ice cream and all these sweets and uh, my cravings started coming on and then I wanted I wanted a bourbon. I'm a big bourbon drinker. Um, so that was a problem that I was doing. I, I just wanted to break down and just, I'm like, I'm getting a cheeseburger, I'm having bourbon and I'm having ice cream after. So uh, that was definitely the first time where I like second guessed myself even while I was doing the program. 
um, and probably the only time I haven't experienced anything like that since then, but uh, it was, it, it, there was a moment where I thought I was gonna break it. Um, luckily I didn't, I stuck with it, uh, but that's kind of what happened on day seven. Now, as I went from day seven through like day 10, uh, everything went really well. Um, you're kind of starting to kick some of the natural urges that come along for those sweets. For me, a big thing is definitely alcohol. Um, you know, I'm not like an excessive drinker, but I do love bourbon, good bourbon and whiskey, um, you know, good beer. Like I usually have a drink every night, even if it's just one or two, you know, with before I make dinner. Uh, it's just kind of become habit and breaking that uh, has been hard, but it's uh, the benefits completely outweigh the, the problems that I was having with it. So I, I always had trouble sleeping, and as luck would find it, as soon as I did the 75 hard program, I have been sleeping like a rock. Like, I mean, I haven't slept like this since I was a kid, obviously, because I'm not having any bad food in my body, I'm not drinking any alcohol, and I'm working out twice a day, so um, that's pretty pretty good now once I'm at day 10 you know I've really uh, I've really reevaluated uh, a lot of the way that I work uh, the way that I organize things um, I'm just noticing little things throughout my life that are are just starting to change and and not just like my fit my physicalness because I have been losing weight but yeah overall I mean it has been great so um, if, like I said, I'm going to release these probably in like 10 day increments uh, throughout the entire program. And then of course I'll do an overall uh, video from beginning to end once it's completely done. So uh, keep a lookout for that and subscribe if you haven't already been subscribed to the channel and be sure to like this video. All right, thanks you guys, bye.